Hello, brothers and sisters. Today is April 4th, 2020. And last night, I just wanted to share this. Um, I had a vision of seeing a big tree right in front of a full moon. And it this, this full moon was like extra bright. And I sure, I'm sure I've mentioned many times, um, I've had a lot of dreams and visions of trees, specifically one tree. And then I've done a video on this. This is uh, my little boy, Skylar, was playing outside with some mud and he just threw a handful of mud at the window and it formed this perfect tree. So I also wanted to talk about this full moon coming up on Tuesday, April 7th. And it's supposed to be the brightest full moon of 2020. And there's a tree in front of the moon in this picture, which I thought was interesting. I also wanted to mention that, um, gosh, I think it was several, several years ago now, I'm a massage therapist and I was working on a client and I had some different candles in the room going and I was just giving her a massage and <clears throat> all of a sudden I heard in my spirit more like it was in my spirit but also audibly, if that makes any sense. And I just heard 715 really loudly. And right after I heard that, a candle blew out all by itself and there was nothing wrong with the wick where it should have just blown out. There was no fan going and it just smoked and smoked and smoked. And I found this article and it mentions that a super moon, which is what this moon's, I guess, going to be, this next full moon, um, it occurs when the moon is at per perigee, the closest point to Earth in its orbit. It's about 7% larger and 15% brighter than the average full moon. 715. And then I wanted to... Um, Talk about that, a dream that I had uh, a while back, actually quite some time ago. In the, I had this dream and I was on a cruise ship, like on the inside part of it. And there were people sitting around everywhere in the hallways, just it was hard to even walk. And I was taking these giant steps over these people to get by them because I was trying to get to the top part of the ship. And when I got to the top part of the ship, I saw my parents, my sister-in-law who has passed, who was in Christ, and other family members that are in Christ. And they were all toasting drinks together like they were reunited and celebrating. And it, just a short distance from my family, that I saw there was my godmother, this woman right here. And she was laying and resting on a queen size bed, smiling serenely and looking out to the ocean. And my godmother's name was April. And it's interesting because right now there's all these cruise ships that aren't allowed to dock anywhere because of the coronavirus. So I was led to go to her obituary the other day. And it's interesting because she died on May 14th of 2015. That's Israel's birthday. And she was born on April 16th. So 
So in this dream, I did a video of this a long time ago. In this dream, when um, this is when I was kind of new at you doing YouTube videos and I was very technically challenged. My husband is a programmer. So I would do the video and then send it to like his email and he would put it on my YouTube channel for me. That's how bad I was at YouTube. So with this particular dream, that's what he did. Well, I went to go start seeing comments that were being left. And the first few seconds of the video, I would say first four to five seconds of the video, this boy right here showed up in the video. And then just disappeared after about four to five seconds. And when I first saw him, I had to lay down for a while because I know that it was extremely supernatural. I've never seen in anyone's video <clears throat> someone just show up in the video. And then three days later, this little boy disappeared from the video. Three days later. So I really feel like this dream is very significant because this boy showed up in this dream. In the cruise ship with the dead in Christ. With my godmother April, who died on Israel's birthday. So, I just wanted to share that with you all. I don't, I don't know when he's coming, but I really feel like he's coming this month. Um, I also was, I had a dream a long time ago where I saw like the dashboard of the inside of a car and in fluorescent green, like where the car odometer would be. I saw S14. And found out that the um, Nissan makes an S14 car. And Nissan 14, the first day of pass is the first day of Passover, but it's also the day that they have the Seder Passover meal. Seder, Passover meal, S14, I don't know. But um, just seems to be a whole lot of things that I've been shown about Passover. <clears throat> I also had a vision a long time ago of seeing Jesus, and he had this big wooden bowl in front of him full of water. And he took both of his hands and he dipped them in the water and splashed the water on his face, and he looked up. And he smiled at me with excitement. Then that vision faded. And I had another vision of him walking towards me, very excited and smiling and holding a baby white lamb in his arms. So... I know we're about to go home, brothers and sisters. I also wanted to <clears throat> share this dream that I had. I think it was last week. And it was kind of a weird dream. But I think it's connected to what's happening right now with um, all the lockdowns and all this stuff. And in the dream... I was going into my back porch, going towards the back porch door, which has glass and stuff all over it. And I put my hand on the doorknob because the door wasn't locked. And I locked it. And just as I locked it, there was this woman that I knew was a demon. And she put her hand on the doorknob, trying to turn it to get in, but it was locked. And she started laughing and like in a, evil way 
like she was really mad. And I, I looked at her through the glass and I laughed at her like in a mocking way. So I think that could represent, you know, we're going to be, those in Christ are going to be safe and they can't touch us because we're going home. So, and it's interesting because Sister Katie did, um, has just shared a dream again about being in a store and being rushed out of the store by this woman demon and just wanted her to hurry up and get out, you know, and I think that's all that's all pointing to right now. So there's just so many things that I've been shown, like it's all pointing to now. It's hard to even put it all together at this point. There's just there's so much, you guys. But I know he's coming. Any moment now. So remember to just look at him. Just look at Jesus. He's our covering and our protection. He's everything. And he's never going to leave or forsake us. And he's going to come just in time. So hold fast. I love you all.